Hey everyone, welcome back to CSICO where we simplify tech and make it fun. Today, I'm going to show you how to install DeepSeek locally and run it using Olama. First of all, go to your web browser and navigate to olama.com. On the first page, you can find a download button. Click on download button to download Olama, then select download for Windows to download Olama Windows version. The Olama is a 745 MB file which will take some time to download. After downloading the Olama setup.exe file, click on the setup file to start the installer and install it in your system. Now click on the install button to start the installer. This will take 5 minutes to finish the installation. After successful installation of Olama, head over to official Olama website again and search for DeepSeek R1 and select the first one. Here you can see the command Olama run DeepSeek R1 on the right side. Copy the command then open command prompt and paste the command there in the terminal. If you are using this command for the first time, then it will take some time to pull the old DeepSeq file which is 4.7 GB. Here I am encountering an issue, Olama max rate rise exceeded error. So to resolve this issue, we can automate the process. For that, go to desktop and create a bad file with some code. I will give the code in the description so you can copy and paste it to create the bad file. Before saving, change all the Lima 3 to DeepSeek R1. Now save the file as a bad file and run it by just double clicking on it. This command will now restart the download again and again until the download is completed. So you don't need to manually run the command again. And that's it. You have DeepSeek running locally with Olama. Now let's try to ask something to DeepSeek. Here you can see the DeepSeek is responding with its own name. Now you can start experimenting and exploring all the amazing features. I hope this guide was helpful. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tech tutorials. If you have any questions or ran into issues, drop a comment below and I will be happy to help. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.